What's up guys? So today we're gonna start on the bike. I'm gonna try to get it torn down, get the engine out, and get those forks apart. Okay, so the first thing I gotta get done is I gotta get all these plastics off the bike, start to get it stripped down. So I'm just gonna time lapse you guys real quick. There she is, no plastics. So the next thing, I think I'm gonna take off that pipe and try to drain some of the fluids out of the engine. Next thing coming off is this gas tank. It's missing the strap, so it's just that one bolt on the top. Um, I might try to find a strap to put back on it, but if not, I don't think it should be any big deal. Next thing coming out is this carburetor. I'm sorry about these shitty camera angles. I didn't bring my tripod with me. It wouldn't fit in my suitcase. So I'm kind of rigging up stuff like pieces of wood, rags, just anything I can get my camera off the ground with. But yeah, excuse that. Okay, let me give you a quick update where we're at. So I got everything disconnected from the engine. Clutch cable is disconnected. The electrical systems unplugged. I had to loosen this radiator to get the electrical wire down there. I just went ahead and disconnected the clutch straight from here because I'm not too sure. Let that focus real quick. I'm not too sure how that comes out of there. So I'm just gonna take the whole cable with the engine. The only things left, and this engine is coming out, is that mount right there for the swing arm and the back of the engine. And then there's one front mount up there. And then of course the chain, pop that loose. So I'm gonna work, I'll probably get this chain off and then I'll work on those mounts. So let me set you guys down.
it's the last bolt for the engine, then we can pull that thing out of there. It looks pretty good. Pretty clean in there. A little gunked up on the tube right there. Oh yeah, because we're getting our needle house moving up and down. Yeah. We'll still clean it, but. All right, I got the carburetor all taken apart. Really wasn't that bad, it was pretty clean. But I'm still gonna soak it, soak in the jets and everything. Get it nice and clean. Got the engine lane here. We're gonna go ahead and take the drain bolt out. Try to take out any oil that may be in it. I think it's full, but I'm not too sure. Then we're gonna bring it inside and start tearing this thing down and getting those cases split. We got the engine inside. We're gonna go ahead and get it taken down. Try to slip the cases tonight. I'm gonna start off by taking the cylinder off and the head. So. Okay, we got the head off. Get our first look inside there. So far, the cylinder looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna get the cylinder off. Okay, I think I just need to take this cover off and I'm guessing the power valve linkage will be under it. Just gotta take that apart and the cylinder should come off. I'm just gonna cut you guys off and I'll cut you back on when I get that cover off. All right, I finally got this power valve linkage out. This thing is horrible. Yamaha has a way better design which is using a bolt. But let's take the cylinder off now. All right, I get the flywheel off, the stator off. Use one of these impact drivers. The screws are really tight. And for the flywheel, I didn't have one of these. So I had to take it up to a Kawasaki dealership to have them remove it. That's why I didn't get any of this on film. Let me get started on this clutch side, taking the cover off and getting this all unscrewed. Here is the clutch, the inner clutch hub. A little bit of some bad news. These two of my bolt posts snapped off. So I have to order a new inner clutch hub and I'm not gonna be able to get that off. So we got that coming in the mail. I think I'm gonna go work on the forks now, but this should be done for this video. That's about all I got.